What's happening, everybody, and welcome back to the True Gamer Podcast, the podcast hosted by two gamers for you, the true gamers. I'm one of your hosts, Eddie, along with my bro, the inverted gamer himself, Sheps. Bro, how are you doing in 2024? Yeah, I'm doing good. I haven't seen you all year. I had to make the joke. I'm really sorry. Ah, uh, you old man. I'm oh, currently old man the, jokes, the so. concerned sound guy because I didn't check your sound levels and I didn't hit the power on the recorder. Yeah, it's it's on. I did hit it and I did sort of look, glance down at my finger. I was like, eh, it's, it's probably all right. It's probably all right. Okay, so, bless. Okay, yeah, yeah, how's, okay, how's 2024 treating you, bro? Oh, it's been, um, it's been all right actually uh in terms of in terms of life yeah been pretty solid that's good been pretty solid it's been a great christmas i was big enough to like enjoy things Isla's... and whatnot so when we went around to her parents house and there was yeah, presents yeah, yeah. opening she was all excited and happy and it was and it was amazing and family politics free oh first time ever i yeah, was buddy. like what sort of household was this uh, exactly it's, it's like one out of a fiction like novel yeah, yeah. isn't it <laughs> never seen never yeah, yeah. recorded before and then it was perfect the purple dragon came out and offered everybody candy floss <laughs> <laughs> oh man but it was um it was good in terms of gaming as well i did get a lot of gaming done i did finish yeah. uh star wars jedi survivor and platinumed it okay if, if anyone ever says the word prior right shard to me ever again i will gut them like a fish <laughs> This thing, this game had something like a, a hundred priorite shards. That is little things they have to go find scattered over this ridiculous map. Yeah. Like, but the game is actually really good. Cool, good to know. And uh, the romance was amazing between uh, uh, Cal and uh, Marion and whatnot. I haven't played the game. If anyone thought that was a spoiler, you're an idiot. That, it was. That was so obvious. So obvious, but they did yeah. it so well. Good, I'm glad like, to hear that. She, she makes him better. That's good. the be- that's the best that's part the of a relationship. A good relationship does that. Yeah, oh, so good. It's so good. Yeah. And um, and not only do they make you better, they make you want to be better. Yeah, yeah. That's the point. That's what a good relationship is supposed to do. Yeah. I'll tell you something funny though. Um, I was playing it, or be- really tear them down in a game. I wanted to really build them up or really ruin things. Oh, you, go. you know, in the most toxic gaslighting kind of way. <laughs> and you're just there like, cow, leave her. She's toxic, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> You'd be better off cuddling up with uranium. What are you doing? You do or, a, like, oh, oh, perfect. You do a whole lot of things. You promised to, to join us. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and uh, there, there was a moment getting towards the end of the game yeah, yeah i didn't know the end was coming and i was like man there's still so much left to play on this game and right. whatnot and i mentioned it to ben i was like man there's still so much left to play like, how are they going to resolve this 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 and I, I hope they do it soon and then like the next minute game ends and i'm yeah, like yeah. wait hold on a second what so, so it turns does, out it could be a trilogy okay cool <laughs> but my impression of the game from what little i've played of it is that it does that properly and it doesn't what was the movie that i saw we saw really recently that was obviously designed to be or like the order 1886 right not like that where it's clear that they only made this game to try and fund the second another game that it could have all been in one or whatever right it i get the impression that jedi survivor is its own game and they're like oh yeah by the way like we, we want to make a trilogy there's yeah. enough to do it but does it round off if it was to end here obviously there's questions you want answered yeah but would it be okay yeah okay cool. i mean there'd be there'd be one thing that i'd be like oh god i wish yeah. i could but it's, the thing is i think it's very clearly that it was like like it's not shortened in any way like right. it's not guided in any ways to be like oh they yeah. made this artificially shorter just so they can That's make it then. into three things but there is a story where i'm like it, the last step is going to be the closure is going to yeah. be the moment where i'm like ah oh, God, cool. respawn, you did it, you did it. Cool. Hopefully they bring it home. Hopefully they bring it home. I mean, they've been very true to it. Exactly. So. And crucially, they flew me out to LA so I could play it early and go visit yeah. their thing and pay for me to go to Disney World and give me a free PC worth over three over three thousand pounds and a lightsaber. So obviously it's unbiased great. opinion here. Unbiased opinion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whereas me, I'm a paid show. <laughs> so you, you they gave you they gave you my copy of the game, so there you go. Yeah, they gave you they gave me your copy of the game and I got your hand me down PC. <laughs> Our no wait, wait, wait. I got my own PC back. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got shafted. You did get a little shafted. And uh, recently, uh, I just finished, in fact, yesterday, Cyberpunk 2077, the yeah. 2.0 patch. Mm-hmm. I started it again, as they recommended, just before Phantom Liberty came out. Yep. Beat it. 
Platinumed it as well. Okay. That was like a hundred hours, something like that. It on took PC? me. No, on pl- uh, PlayStation. Okay, okay, okay. PlayStation, because yeah. obviously... I need oh, yeah, of course, yeah, you're plat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I will be playing Phantom Liberty on PC, though, because okay. there's no plat for the Turn it up to DLC. max, yeah. <clears throat> but that was... It was a lot better playing it after after launch. It was a lot better playing it without all of the negativity around launch mm-hmm. and with all of these updates and stuff like yeah. that. There was one ending. I don't know if you know about this ending. Do you want me to say it? Yeah, go for it. Oh, well, so... Have they added new endings or did they change things? They didn't add any new endings to the base game. This may be spoilers for anybody watching. How long ago did... That came out like two months ago, didn't it? The 2.0 patch. I want to say like November. Yeah. But the base game, which is where it's from, was yeah. out. Like, yeah, so I think years. we can talk about it. And I'm blessed. Fast forward 10 minutes if you don't want to talk about it. Um, there's one ending called the devil ending. Now, okay. I played all the endings because obviously you have to do it for the trophy and yeah. for the trophies. And I wanted to see it all anyway. Mm-hmm. There's one called the devil ending where essentially you take the the help of Hanako and yeah. Takamura and you play that through to the end. And essentially what it goes with, they, they storm Arasaka, Arasaka with you. Mm-hmm. You get into the final suite with uh, Yoronobu. Yeah. Yoronobu's like, he's, quit at the end he's like i'm i'm i'm, I'm giving up this yeah. was not how it was supposed to go and he's got a gun nearby you're thinking oh he's gonna kill himself you take the gun away from him hanako comes in sort of looking like she's gonna sort of like take care of him yeah but then after you leave and she promises she'll get uh johnny out of your yeah, head yeah. and whatnot after she leaves you see while you're rehabilitating yourself you see on the news that uh suburu has been implanted into Yoronobu's body okay. and taken over his mind, fucking killing so, him. So bloody dystopian. I fucking loved it. I was like, that's amazing. So my original theory while I was playing the game the first time yeah. was that Yoronobu, yeah, Yoronobu's a son, isn't it? Yoronobu's a son, yeah. Had already, that had already happened. Oh. That, that Subur- Sub- Subaru, 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 whatever, yeah, yeah. knows that it's an immortality pill and takes over mm. you know and he's to so that instead of it passing it down to a family he just stays the forever emperor yeah, it basically um, happened because way. of course if you're that guy of course you make an engram isn't it what they call yeah. yeah of course you do so um i'm I mean, glad that's what that the whole tech was made for yeah, yeah. it was really made for yeah, him yeah, yeah. Well, you know. so i'm glad that was actually yeah. in that that's that's good but it's so fucking it's so it's so cool just because you're like watching the news as yeah. like you're getting rehabilitated and uh it's it's, it's people like questioning it's like hold on a second so like the rich get richer and they stay rich for the rest of their lives yeah. immortality and like it's and what about us we can't yeah, we yeah. can't do that kind of stuff and i'm like yeah Ooh, this is amazing that's this is good. great anyway I, I saw all the other endings well and there was one where you become johnny essentially or johnny takes that's the one I, I ended up with yeah that was cool as well time. especially him going back to the guitar shop and then buying his vintage guitar it was did cute. you do the quests with What's his band friend who asks you for help? Kerry, you're done. Kerry, yeah, do you do that as well? Yeah, I think yeah. that affects some dialogue options. He was cool as well. Yeah, it yeah. was um, very clear. It was a nice arc with him, like yeah, being yeah. like nobody and then coming back and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It was quite cool. But anyway, amazing. Who Can't did you wait romance? To play. This time I romanced Pan Am, just cool. for you. Best best romance. Um, it was great. It was good. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you can stop there. Don't, don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Don't ruin no, the no, no, year. No. Don't ruin our friendship at the very beginning of the year. It was good, but what made it better actually was the 2.0 update. Because Yes, yeah, so this is one of my beefs about the the romances was that like once you've done the romance mission, it just sort of ends. Mm. And um that that shit. That doesn't make any sense. A bunch of things happen. Yeah. So they've added a bunch of things where like she'll text you to say like, Hey, I miss you and stuff like that. She'll send you flirty photos and things like okay, that. Cool. Some some like nudes in some the mirror and stuff nudes. like that. Yeah, buddy. <clears throat> it's good stuff. I'm gonna have to replay and make all the exact same decisions. <laughs> And she comes over to your apartment and you like dance together yeah. and I lay down and you're like stroking her hair, yeah, kissing yeah. and in bed and things like Even that. And like, hands and stuff. Yeah. This is all great. This is all great. Yeah. And I, it's really weird when you've got the gorilla hands though. When you've Yo, got Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, okay, this is, this is a fetish clearly. <laughs> but anyway, loved it, loved yeah, it, loved I'm it. i glad to hear that. The update was fantastic and um, I, I can't wait to I want to hear your play, thoughts uh, on Phantom Liberty. I'll yeah, be yeah, playing yeah. it very soon, very soon. Now, now that I'm in the mood. Yeah, buddy. How have you been? How's your... Your, I've you? been Bro, you know what it's like in my hands <laughs> I've been um, doing a little bit of gaming not as much as you because I spent most of my break um, away in Florida um, for a funeral holiday a funeral holiday yep 
Uh, so no gaming over that. But uh, since coming back, I um, have done two things. Made a bunch of changes, which, by the way, boys, we've made a bunch of changes to the Discord. If you're missing any rooms or anything like that, I need to know about it because there is a 100% chance that something's gone wrong. We also, if you maybe can tell, have made changes to the... Um, the, the recording studio, the office, yeah. the man cave. So if I'm talking to you like this, it's because I've been looking at you <laughs> over there for like seven years or something <clears throat> at this point. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Um, but now you're here. So I'm almost certainly going to forget that. So if I go like this, I'm really sorry. Uh, so bear that in mind. But started streaming on Twitch. Been really enjoying it. Yeah, you have. And um, I mean, mate, we've I've put in like 30 hours already in like the week you've already hit affiliate you said yeah, yeah. I, I, crazy big enough yeah so I'm, I'm streaming on twitch i hit affiliate today i thought it was going to be tomorrow because i'm going to do a gaming stream tomorrow okay uh, which will be saturday most of you probably won't see this but i hit affiliate and um congrats uh, yeah thank you i put up a tweet a little while ago what do you guys want to see like niche games uh currently i'm streaming i'm trying to learn, learn python for my own reasons and oh by the way that timeline i set for like the bot like maybe like end of jan or like for now nah, we're way off <laughs> we're way off that ain't happening for a while that ain't happening for a while but H how far off are we talking years no nah, not years it will happen and in the absolute worst case i will pay someone to build it and pretend i did it <laughs> just to save face yeah, yeah. man brother did it yeah, yeah. to be mm -hmm. honest i'm at a point i genuinely think i'm at a point where um, I could probably get it made, mm. but I would have no idea how it works. So I think breaks, I'm done. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I can yeah. probably, I can figure out what code does at this point for the most part and copy paste enough to probably get it working. Mm. But I would not understand it at all. And that I don't want. I want to build this thing. So, look, for example, because if you guys don't know, my overarching project, the thing I'm like building towards is I want to build a Discord bot that takes, um, only articles from Kotaku and IGN. The, the most trustworthy websites, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, maybe, uh, what's that guy's, Jason Schreier, is that his name? The yeah, yeah, Jason was, Schreier. Yeah, yeah, tweets from him. Mm -mm, mm -mm, yeah, go on. Uh, links it to uh, a room that, I mean, no one other than Ed needs access to it in the Discord, or maybe another Discord, I don't really know the issues with that, that would then take the um, article title, a link to the article, and, and, and this was Comrade's idea, um, use AI to like summarize the article. So you could, instead of spending like all week keeping an eye out for articles, yeah. you could just come to Discord and be like, oh, this is about this, it's about this, and you just pull it off like the that day before. That would help me out a lot. It would, because I'm trying to save time for you, I'm trying to save time for me. <clears throat> it's a cool project to build. Uh, so that's what we're trying to build. And the thing is, if at some point you go, oh, this would be really useful if it could do this, or maybe this would be something the boys would be interested in, so can you have it go to this room but only show this stuff or whatever? That's where you need the knowledge. I need to know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, and I want to be able to. And it's, I'm actually having a lot of fun, but I put... We made a project. Sorry, we'll, we'll get off coding talk really quickly. <laughs> but we made a project that was like... It, it played rock, paper, scissors, right? Yeah. And then wrote it to a file. That was all it did. It took 10 hours. <laughs> It took me 10 hours. So, and it's like 30 lines of code. Not even. Well, the beginning part is the hardest part. Yeah. You're, got, you're learning a brand new yeah. language. Yeah. So, I, But I'm having a lot of fun. Like The, the puzzle solving elements of it are, are a lot of fun. And cool. streaming. And ironically, weirdly, most of the people that watch uh, software and game development, mm -hmm. which is the category I'm streaming the most in at the minute, are all like pretty competent coders. So... It's really frustrating. It's fun because they have all the answers. Yeah. But it's frustrating because I'm having to tell these guys, I know you can do this. In fact, <laughs> one guy knocked up an example for me in tell me, this is how uh, I think it should work. Yeah, but that's for the project. For my I gave my we gave me homework for over the weekend, uh, for like the stream on Tuesday. Yeah. And uh he was like, This is what I think it should like. Refer to it once you're finished yours. He built in ten minutes. Right. While he was working and watching Twitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> And I'm like, I'm telling all these guys, it's really important that you understand the objective is not to make this work. The yeah. objective is that I understand what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And I know that means we're going to spend four hours on a five minute task yeah. right now. But I want to get to a point in a couple of years where I'm hopefully still doing this and can be like, oh, we're going to do this. Or goes, how do you do this? Oh, yeah, let's do that. I would like to be there. But so that's weirdly, I'm, I've gamified learning to code. So yeah, it is a game yeah. for me. It, 
there's almost like there are achievements I'm going for, right? Of like, do this project, get this thing working on my own sort of thing. It's the way I like to do things. Yeah, exactly. Game and then the, fire. Yeah, you make like mini achievements and yeah. like, so <clears throat> the other thing is uh, part of the tweet. So the, one of the, the second most voted thing was the Python streaming. Yeah. And the first was niche games. And it's a bit unusual because you and me are pretty much AAA kind of guys. We we watch the end game of movies. We play the like, yeah, you know, God of Wars of games. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll do that. And we've played these before. We played Stray, which was brilliant. We've played Portal, which is relatively small and niche. Um, so I said, okay, had a look at a bunch of these, and a bunch of them look really interesting. And it's quite cool because I'm seeing the creativity of people that don't have to worry about the shareholders. So I'm seeing some cool stuff. It's probably, it's probably quite refreshing, right? It kind of, it is. Obviously I have to still have to make time for my own like big games. Like I still want to finish Jedi Survivor and mm. stuff like that. But I'm also really enjoying streaming. Like it's my currently my number one hobby. I'm loving it. Mm. Uh as we've always said like I like live, you like uh the the scripted curated. curated. Yeah. We can really put the budget. I like you know off the cuff i'm so glad it worked out i'm loving it yeah like i said i've put in 30 hours i've put in almost as much time in streaming as i have into my work (laughs) you know in a work week you know (laughs) i'm really i'm really loving it so uh i've no idea for you man yeah i've no idea what we're gonna play but saturday we're gonna play for a few hours we'll play something Um, i'm glad you're you're again i'm glad people are uh, in the community as well are are, like supporting you i've seen some people going be in there and like conrad being there as well yeah yeah yeah. he helped me out a little bit in in some like discord stuff but he obviously knows way more than way more than i've ever been able to think so yeah thanks a lot for helping chefs out and i'm happy for you man Yeah, we appreciate it but that's also why we made the discord changes so um (laughs) link in the description to his twitch channel so you guys know where to go if you want to see him and stuff like that oh and i think we mentioned that at all so there we go yeah so i'm streaming on twitch yeah chefs almighty i think it is Uh, which is one of those frustrating ones because i i was thinking about doing a rebrand but i already had the channel and i've already started and um, i'm already affiliate but that is my game attack from halo one There are so many YouTube channels. Which is like 2001. There's so many YouTube channels and Twitch channels that are like that, though. They had like a, oh, this is my username from back on MSN or something like that. 15th of November, 2001. There you go. (laughs) Is how long I've been going by Sheps Almighty or Almighty Sheps, one of the two. Yeah, it's always been one of the two. (laughs) And yeah, always. So uh, I was considering a rebrand, but um, anyway, that's the main reason that we changed the Discord around because I thought rather than everybody getting bombarded with like here's a podcast here's an announcement mm. here ed uploaded a video sheps is streaming four times a week whatever it is like it's going to get a bit much so now there are three announcement rooms you have to choose at the very top it's roles and channels i think it is yeah. and you say you have to click all general that will get you all the chat rooms like the standard stuff you have before other than our, other than our channels that we're talking yeah, about now that you have to get and that then you select and then you can select oh i'm only interested in like um, Ed's videos in the podcast or I'm not interested in the podcast for some reason why on the Discord buff but I do want to see like to their their videos or whatever it is yeah. um, and you can select that or you can select all and you'll get bombarded <laughs> with uh, ads everything we ever do yeah so that's the update good man yeah man good stuff well 2024 hopefully you can make it sick yeah buddy we have plans for all kinds of clips and stuff and we've also done some changes in terms of the conversations yes, podcast make it a public version as well for some of you guys so you can see that and uh, we can make clips of that and hopefully that'll be cool hopefully that'll be cool um speaking mm-hmm. of making things public yes like the people who make their genitalia. No, not- <laughs> um, well, let's thank our super bros who support us over at patreon.com forward slash conversations. Who support us at the $15 tier. Those great super bros, those legends that keep the lights Games. on mics on. Uh, that is my juicy left now, <laughs> Sabine from Smallville and Gams Master, the leader of the Empire, the fearless one, the great Lord Vader himself. Step cousin. He isn't really that important. I mean, he wasn't even at the Christmas dinner. Someone <laughs> forgot to invite him. And then he, he thought, oh, we must be doing it at so and so's at my place this year. No one came around no to his place. Came. But then he okay. confronted us on on New Year's Day, and it was a little bit awkward. Well, you didn't get the invite. He, well, he, he didn't get we lo- all, lost he, it in the post. Exactly, sorry. you know. We definitely sent it. We definitely sent it. In fact, we everybody asked for you. We sent it to the group chat, and then he was like, "There's a group chat." Shit. Damn. <laughs> 
Ox. Ox. <laughs> and then we added him to the chat, and then the, one of the cousins were like, who added Broski? <laughs> no, 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 delete message. <laughs> and then suddenly that chat's just died off. Yeah, suddenly. People stopped posting in there. Yeah. And there's not a new chat. Totally. Why were, like, since I've been here, there's been like three messages, but I can see the records. There were 3,000 files shared in the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple of huge things happened since we last mm-hmm. spoke. It was pretty much two days after we did our last podcast. Of course, yeah. It was like, cool, they've stopped. They've stopped doing the podcast. Yep. Now we can do what we want. Now we can do what we want. At least they waited a couple of days. At least they For were- those of you that are new, we used to do this, uh, whatever day we've picked has always been the day the news comes out. After we've gone and I'm 45 minutes away in the car. Yeah. You it's know? like, oh, great. Here we are. Here's the biggest news ever in gaming this drop. Yeah. So, um, number one on the list, Insomniac Games was hacked. Mm-hmm. And yeah. all of the information, all, all of it, all of the information is on the, uh, in the whole of Insomniac were released onto the internet. Yeah. Now, there was a ransom, and people were like, ah, oh, you know, are they bluffing, what not? Will PlayStation pay yeah. them, what not? Because people have paid paid people yeah. in the past, and what yeah. not? There's a lot of secrets in there. I guess they chose not to be, uh, not to give in to terrorists, no, because... In, Insomniac's answer was, as if you can do anything with that, you can't outwork us. <laughs> by the time you release it we'll have had four new games come out yeah exactly like, what's your point what's your beef that'll be outdated by the time it comes yeah. out it's, it's it's already old news bruv <laughs> anyway a huge leak from I actually want to go through all of that I want to see how fast they get through tasks I want to see how quickly they've done well they've stuff. got a timeline here of stuff that's coming out and honestly it's it's quite impressive I don't know what's the is there HR <clears throat> data in there I want to know what people's average hourly weeks Just, that, that would be so fucking great right I'm gonna that's look the one I'm thing, gonna look out of everything that, that got leaked that was the thing that we really wanted to see what the hours are anyway a huge leak happened if you guys didn't see it Tons of things, including upcoming projects, including royalties to Marvel, mm-hmm. including how contracts work between future games and like what profits are going to go to where and what the stipulations are in contracts. Yeah. Super detailed stuff. Yeah. It was amazing, including uh, cancelled games. There was a cancelled multiplayer Spider-Man game that they were mm-hmm. working on. That's cool. <clears throat> it looked, not going to lie, it looked like a card game. Yeah. Looked awful, so thank God it's gone, but... The we ca- don't the know. The guys that like card games love them. Though. Oh yeah. So, yeah, yeah. like, what yeah. is it? Marvel, Snap, or some of that. Yeah. Oh, Gwen. Anyway, a ton of information. Let's start off with the biggest one. The biggest one. Wolverine gameplay literally took over Twitter. Yeah. So it was all pre-alpha, sort of like really rough stuff. It Animations was- like proof of concept of how we want him to move the artist will add stuff later so exactly yeah, it yeah, was yeah. there was some some moments where like oh the animation was kind of smooth there but then it would rock into a moment where he's like yeah <clears throat> and it's it's not intended to look perfect it's no. not that's not the purpose it's just supposed to be like oh we're just working on this area what this is going to be or yeah. even how this is going to flow within a room all kinds of practice stuff oh it was and, 1.6 terabytes i didn't realize it was that much yeah it was a lot it was a lot and if you consider that I mean, only some of that is video. So then the rest of it is all files. It's like, fuck. Um, So yeah, so much of that got released. A lot of idiots on the internet seemed to think that this was final gameplay. And they were like, oh, this looks trash. People are so stupid. (laughs) What's wrong with you? People are so stupid. What's wrong with you? That's like, you know, um, claymation stuff. Yeah. That's like someone seeing the the wire frames and being like, this is going to be a crap movie. Do you know what I mean? That is literally that. Yeah, it is. You're looking at the wireframe, ultimately, of yeah. Wolverine <clears throat> with no special effects, no background, yeah. no nothing. Like yeah. It's like seeing the green screen and go, uh, like for a CG movie and then go, oh, movie looks awful. It's like, mm. it's not been done. It's, it's not nothing done. done yet. If it <clears throat> says SFX here. <laughs> anyway, it leaked everywhere. Um, I saw it and I was like I'm not really going to look too much into this because A I don't want to be spoiled yeah. but also it's clearly not finished so I'm not going to get anything meaningful from this it's just going to yeah. I was like that looks like Wolverine oh my god I can't believe it leaked that's pretty impressive that it actually got leaked yeah. out there that they, they went through with their threat okay I'll, I'll cover that on the show save to yeah, file right. done that's what, all I yeah. did right <clears throat> but it is quite amazing that we've for the first time in a while actually we've seen a game that is so far out that we've barely had even an announcement of yeah, yeah. out in the wild how do you 
what are your feelings on on Wolverine gameplay being out there? I mean, one little pat on the back. I called that he would have some sort of wall riding, wall climbing ability with the claws. I was, do you know what that that was something? I think someone might have even tweeted me. They were like, "Shep said it." Shep said it, and I was called like, it, yeah. "Gotta give him that." You gotta give him that. He did say that. So, which, which means <clears throat> that there can be some really interesting. Um, traversal stuff which could be really cool especially mm. to see it from somebody who well it could be really cool but I don't know if I care because I think Wolverine will be good meaning that it's going to be a Spider-Man Spider-Man 2 esque game we know what Insomniac does they v almost never miss Yeah, this is a, a type of game that they're really good at and always deliver on and this is like not it's not even alpha it's not even pre-alpha like this is sorry alpha yeah exactly get fricked it, th this is like not even first draft type stuff yeah like this isn't even complete enough to be considered a first draft this is like how do we think he's gonna move okay let's try this yeah. this is test animation <clears throat> stuff what do we prefer let's send this to some of the some test groups you know that no go away i don't care about any of that and yeah. also like you i'm in a weird spot where it's like I'm curious, I'd like to see what they're playing with, but I, one, don't want to get spoiled, and two, know that I could see something and it could get end up left on the cutting room floor. Yeah. That always happens. So what's the point? We're so far away from it being ready. Well, we're two years away from it being ready, which in Insomniac time means it's barely even started, <laughs> right? <laughs> they started this thing yesterday. <clears throat> the only thing that I would have, like, if it was Ratchet and Clank, for example, yeah. I would have been super excited only really to find out about the portal system. I'd be like, ooh, yeah. that's a really cool bit of information. That would have been cool. With this, probably the coolest thing is literally what we mentioned about the traversal, where it's like there's wall running and stuff like that and launching. Yeah. That seems really cool. Can't wait to see it in its polished form. That'd be fantastic. And I'm sure there'll be like... Other little... than that, not really, I don't really it, care too much. Yeah. We're going to get it in a couple of years anyway. So. Like, I'm sure there's probably weird technical <clears throat> stuff in there that game devs look at and go, oh, wow, that's really impressive. Like, yeah, I bet yeah, yeah. I bet his claws, for example, I bet it isn't like an animation where they either in or out. I bet that's an actual, like, physical item. In, Could be. On Wolverine, where, like, they're actually stored in his arms. It would be things like that where... If we were developers and knew and cared about this stuff, we'd be mm. like, man, that's really impressive that they could make that work. Yeah. That's probably the most interesting information in there. And the contracts. The, that, the contract stuff, that's that's interesting. That's probably the heaviest that. hit that they that they took. We're going to talk about that. Um, so in terms of Wolverine, gameplay is out there. It's coming. Can't even really call it gameplay. Yeah, it's like have yeah. you have you guys ever seen um, test footage of people doing their first readings for a role, and they're, they're it's just a person in a blank room reading some lines with no real direction. They don't look right. They're in their everyday clothes, right? Yeah. They look shit. They all look crap. Which, which, by the way, actually. I have huge respect for casting agents that get stuff right. Yeah, who because can, like visualize it. I don't know how they do that. No, it's look. Benefit of the doubt, Henry Cavill of Superman. Easy, easy done. Yeah, it was an easy call that. It was easy an dub, easy call that. <laughs> right? But like, Heath Ledger as the Joker. Yeah. Especially those huge makeup roles as well. Where like, you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like, so, you know, mad props. That's a real skill set. Yeah. But like, if you've ever seen stuff like <clears throat> that, yeah, there's, there's a, a bit of makeup and proper direction and stuff can really change. So, yeah. The next big thing that came out is a, a massive timeline of when of a bunch of upcoming projects yeah. that are coming out. Spider Man from Spider Man Two onwards. So they've got Spider Man Two listed here. The next game after that, a Venom game was was leaked in this whole thing. Cool. So there's a, a Venom game. It was called oh, Venom. Oh man, what happened to Miles? <clears throat> I don't know. So I mean, if you played, I'm not gonna say. I'm, no, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. Okay, cool. Uh, it's I mean, I've Venom. played this Spider Man Two, so. <laughs> I still haven't played that. Which, by the way, my chance of was it Spider Man Two? My chance of playing that. Who? Why did we get rid of your um, idea of my? Who are you game sharing with at the minute? Uh, I think I might have given it to Ben. No, no, what was Chris, it for? Chris. What was it for? It was for Spider Man. Spider Man it? Two, yeah. So he I haven't played, played it. <laughs> um, Venom Lethal Protector is what okay. it's, is what it's code named. At okay. The moment. So does so does he move away for spoiler fan theories? Does he end up with Flash? 
Cool. I ain't going to say it. anything. Cool, got it. I ain't going to say anything. Bless. Um, and then after that, it says Wolverine. So it looks like from this timeline, we're going to get Venom Lethal Protector before we get Wolverine. Crazy, do they right? do they let these bears sleep? They never sleep. I, I need these, I need the HR day. These on, guys right? never um, sleep. They, when, when they announced Spider Man, they were like, "Cool, Spider Man coming out this day." Then they were like, "Cool, Wolverine's coming out shortly afterwards." We're like, "Man, these guys are worked to the bone." And then they're like, "No, nah, do you know what? we're going to slot another game in the middle there as well, please." <laughs> now, is this a, is this a standalone game or is this like the Miles Morales DLC? Apparently, it's going to be more like the Miles Morales sort of. Like, uh, do you know? I was going to say, oh, "Okay, game. then." Like, but that was Miles a decent Morales was like. Size that was like a 15 hour game something like that yeah for all in all with all the side stuff for 15 hours so you know let's not pretend like it was nothing but I don't believe this right so like I just googled how many hours do Insomniac developers work and the very first thing that pops up is that Reddit article that says quote developers at Insomniac say there were no crunch for Ra- uh, Ratchet and Clank a rift <laughs> apart and that they worked 40 hour weeks now Fair enough, that's Ratchet and Clank, and that was a major project coming into the new stuff, but I don't believe it. I'm just saying they didn't ask them about any trading of souls to the devil or any magic or anything Ooh, like that. Good so point. Good point. We never... That's a good point. Just, uh, just saying. That's a good point. Just saying. Anyway, after Wolverine, it says Spider-Man 3 here, and then it says we're back to Ratchet and Clank, and then the big one... Yes. X-Men. Apparently, okay. Insomniac have acquired the rights to make an X-Men game and multiple games in the future. And it does say after that, it says new IP and whatnot, but okay. there's no name after that. But X-Men is on the cards. That's a, that's a huge leak right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does say it's like really far out in the future, like 2030 or whatever. So still got loads of time for that. But an X-Men game, that's kind of interesting. That'll be a weird one. I wonder who we, we play as the main character. Yeah. Because, or if it switches. Because the typical... When I hear X-Men game, in my head, I think those fighting games, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's... Marvel versus Capcom and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not what I want. I, what I want is to play as, like, young Scott, you know, having to deal with, like, the, well, the visor or whatever. I don't know this. This is just my theory yeah, going yeah, yeah. into this. If, if they're starting with Wolverine, it might then explore into yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, an X-Men. It so it might be you continue so playing sense. as Wolverine yeah. and into X-Men and whatnot, and that could be really cool. I mean, it would make sense that Wolverine encounters, t- you know, like MC-level main character yeah. X-Men, right? Yeah. So <clears throat> I'll be annoyed if he doesn't. It doesn't make sense for Wolverine to be just on his own, yeah. unless it's set in some weird time period or something. I'm guessing the, like, the first one would just be like a little bit of a prequel story, building it up and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's, that's a really cool bit of information. Now, how do you feel about pretty much the next 10 years of Insomniac being Marvel? How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it's the... Everybody loves Spider... Spider-Man's one of the most loved things. X-Men's one of the most loved things. I mean... You, you can't miss with those True. unless they really mess it up unless True. they like pull a cyberpunk or something like that they totally could it, the only difference is there is known IP so it's mm-hmm. not not that they don't have any sort of room to flex or anything yeah. like that but had it been like a new IP where it says over here like 2032 whatever yeah. it is like that that's them creativity to go wild like they can yeah. start from scratch yeah. they can make whatever they want this is all like these are characters mm-hmm. Does that make you feel bad in, in any way? Don't have to be. Don't take all I'm feeling no. and what I'm saying. Cool. Uh, this was actually um, I'm hoping Zach you Chino. are on the opposite end of this. Zach yeah. Chino said it to me, and I was. He was like, "I do feel a little bit, a little bit disappointed that like the you know, next ten years is all yeah. like Marvel games." And I was like, "You know, that is a little bit disappointing." However, the only thing that made, pulled me back from that is that i think wolverine will be the palette cleanser that we're thinking of yeah because spider-man's a very wholesome game yeah. very cool game there's emotional moments and stuff like that but it's not like r-rated or anything like that whereas wolverine is supposed to be i and hope I, it is i hope it's a bit more dark and gritty i hope it's a bit more like a bit more adultish and a bit more like cinema type yeah. thing where like we a bit more you know how like logan was from yes from, from that's uh, by Wolverine far the best before. movie yeah yeah it is but you can't do much of that like no. is it there's, no, a, no, no, there's no. a limit oh yeah i am um, at some point i have my fill of watching 
Logan suffer. Exactly. You know, yeah. And it's the similar thing. So recently, um, uh, my girlfriend was talking about the next Joker movie because it has mm-hmm. Lady Gaga mm-hmm. in it. And I was yeah. like, do you know what? I like the first Joker movie, but I don't know how much of it I could handle. Yeah. And the second one looks like it's going to be a lot more. And I'm like, well, I don't know if I can. Yeah. Have... And that's what I would feel like if it was I'll just all you... like that. There's a slight difference. Go on. Well, the Joker movie, uh, the Joaquin Phoenix one, is fantastic. I didn't like it at all. Because, it. because it wasn't the Joker. He was some guy who was nuts and ended up in a riot, mm. which is which would have been a great story on its own. It would have been really good. But I'm there for the Bat. I'm there for Joker. I'm there for Harley Quinn. I'm there for DC's, mm. you know, characters. And we didn't get that. Yeah. We, and so you know, that is my problem with that. You know, and I get that it gritty and all that stuff. That wasn't my problem with it. My problem was wasn't that. I feel you. With the Marvel thing, the reason, and I, I, it's not a bad point. I'm not saying you're wrong. Uh, you or Zacatino are wrong. What I would say is that you can say Zach is wrong. You say it. You can say Zach is wrong. It's fine. First of all, Zacatino. Zach, Put Zach some Zach goddamn you. respect on his Sorry, name. My apologies. <laughs> what I am saying is that I'm getting that itch scratched from Sony Santa Monica. I'm getting that scratched from um, Sucker Punch. Right, yeah. Like I'm getting that in other places, and 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 I, I I do understand. Like I don't like this idea of just constantly retreading, remaking old IPs because no one has any creativity. But if we are gonna do well loved stuff, I want it to be the guys that understand it that treat it right. I want it to be true to to form in a really good experience rather than like the uh, Kathleen Kennedy Star Wars stuff where it just departs from the soul of the thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's... And look, it's never going to hurt to have a a, rem- a good quality remake of old stuff that you're familiar with. Like, obviously, yeah, you could have too much Spider-Man, but every five to ten years, if there's another great Spider-Man game, yeah. I can't really complain about that. Yeah, it's... It would be really spoiled of us, a really first world problem of yeah. us if we were like, Pff. just keep making these great games, man. Pff. Right. Pff. Yeah. Jesus. Right. I wish they'd just stop and do something else that would possibly be bad. Yeah. God. <laughs> and also, it's not like nothing new gets made. Like, uh, Days Gone was relative, you know, a new thing that, that came out. And this year was perfect for it. Like, yeah. we got Baldur's Gate out of nowhere. Baldur's Gate out, yeah, out of the... the tons of games yeah. this year that were like completely yeah. all very different in genres and whatnot so we've we've we, we have good yeah. games it doesn't always come from the same place but it doesn't need to as and well. i will say and this is not a defense of you know the triple a titles only you know rehashing like marvel stuff <clears throat> like i would be annoyed if sucker punch was just making only marvel that all they did was like okay we're gonna do spider-man wolverine captain america then a hulk get like okay yeah that's too much but by the sounds of this it doesn't seem too bad yeah. and if you're a PC gamer which I have strong opinion I still they're filthy you can the, the rig has had a few problems do you know what I like about uh, my PS5 I just press the button and it works <laughs> yeah. that's all I have to do I God. do love that they conveniently ignore that that like, PC gaming is the best, but it's flawless. Will this brand new game in the middle of the life cycle of my console run on my console? Yes! <laughs> you don't even have to ask the question. Shit. <laughs> but because I'm getting a bit into the sort of niche games on like Steam and stuff, mm. there actually are plenty of fantastic, incredible, creative games on there. Some really interesting ones, actually. Like, really genuinely interesting. So, like, you know, it's sort of like, if you're, especially if you're a PC gamer, you get all the AAA stuff, and then you can, like, you know, your Michelin-style restaurant stuff, and then you can go and go and find, like, you know, street vendors. Mm-hmm. You can go and find those little guys that just pop up, and I made a game about, you know, what if you're the... I'm making one up. This would be cool. If you're, like, the last mine on a Minesweeper board... And you're like sweating it because the guy's going to find you have to hide in the rest of the squares. You know? <laughs> like, that's funny. You know, like <laughs> that's the sort of crazy shit these guys do, yeah. you know? Like, cool. So there is stuff out there. So to summarize what you're saying right there, clearly Zaccuccino is a, a fucking cunt yeah. for complaining about yeah. getting good games. Yeah. 
I would say just yeah. I would say hang yourself, but you're upside down. It wouldn't work. Exactly. It so wouldn't work. You know, every time he's tried a bunch of times, just ends up as bumping per his head our on the recommendation. Floor. Yeah. <laughs> The next big thing. It's a good that thing came. that didn't get dark at all. <laughs> the next big. For thing the record, that, that was an Australia about. joke, not a suicide joke. <laughs> I cancelled too late. Um, the next big thing that babe, came get out. Get ready of this. to stay up late. I'm being cancelled again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babes. The next big thing that came out yeah. was the licensing terms for this X Men game that was yeah. leaked here super interesting to see like the inner workings and like what this means and how the business is run behind yeah. the scenes um saying that the the game will be playstation console and pc exclusive with pc one coming right. down in the future uh it talks about money commitments which is a little bit hard for us to grasp because we don't know how much video games yeah. are but it's like 621 million dollars comprised over like all of the games that they yeah. uh, they're gonna make from them so like it's like three parts and whatnot uh, 120 uh, million dollar commitment required just for development of the game and stuff like that yeah. and there's like all kinds of claws and things uh releasing get re all get all the games have to be released by tw 2035 all of the x-men games yeah. okay um and can and will be on sale at least until 2038 that's the at least right. time yeah. uh, and later if marvel allows to continue there's a lot of if marvel allows yeah, it in yeah, this yeah. terms here they've really got the better end of the deal in my opinion than this um in terms of exclusivity it says <sighs> Between now and 31st of December 2035, Marvel cannot release or announce any X-Men games on console slash PC slash streaming, very clearly hinted towards other people who yeah. are doing some streaming, or use X-Men characters as a competitive advantage in a game, e.g. play as Wolverine in Ultimate Alliance exclusively on right, Xbox. Right, right. And it literally names Xbox in it. Right, right. Uh, X-Men characters can appear in multi-family games, e.g. Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, and Marvel retains rights to children's games, uh, and certain X-Men games from the 1990s, uh, but they cannot release or announce any anything within 45 days before or after they release any of their X-Men games, which is cool right there. Yeah. Here's a really interesting one. So Marvel royalties, how much they make off of each game sale. Okay. Like digital games, between 9 and 18% of net sales. Okay. That's for digital games. Yeah. And physical games, it's between 19 and 26. Okay. That's probably why, like, there's so, it just shows how much how much of a push yeah. there is for digital games because then PlayStation gets to keep even more of it if they go that way. Yeah. Here's the really big one. Hardware sales. Can you guess? Just off the top of your head. Throw out a random number how much you think they might get off of a, a hardware bundle sale, a PS5 and a game in, in the box. This is going to Marvel. Going to Marvel. 20%. 35 to 50%. Oh... I was really struck by that. I was like, wow. Like, I mean, first of all, the console's in there. Mm. Like, how were you getting such a huge chunk of that? But this goes back to what we always said. Go on. Having people on your ecosystem making purchases through your console is so valuable. Yeah. That's why. And really, really, this is probably the same discussion they had. They were like, yeah. selling the console is, is nothing the money you make off of the people who are on the console where you make it, and having our character on the box is going to shift units. Yeah. Spider-Man is already shifting yeah. units. Yeah. Wolverine's going to shift it's gonna units. It's going to do numbers. It's, it's like, this is, and they're like, yeah, cool, no problem. Yeah. 50%, bro, 50%. That's mental. That Huge. is mental. Crazy right there. Although, again, we're in one of those, this is the second generation now where they're making money on the console. Yeah. Where previously, con the console itself was a loss leader. Mm. So, Actually, they're just back to, oh, it doesn't matter if we lose yeah. money on the console. Yeah. yeah, and at least it's on their terms now. They're getting something for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and then the final point, termination rights. It says here, neither party has the right to terminate uh, the agreement out of convenience. However, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, could you imagine saying like, you know, we're not doing it no more. There's a bit of a ball, like, we don't want to give away half our stuff. Wait, but is that convenience? What counts as convenience? <laughs> 
Go on, anyway. Uh, it goes, um, however, if we do not sell through 6 million units, 6 million units uh, on PS5 and PC combined in the first th- uh, three, for the fir- one of the first three major titles uh, in the first year after the PlayStation's console release, either party may terminate the contract if it, ter- if it so chooses. Um, we yeah. must pay $9 million as a breakup fee to Marvel plus all unpaid uh, portions sorry it's really low resolution yeah it's so, cool, it's so cool. and I haven't got my glasses so and you can't thing. read anyway that as well um, unpaid portions are all guarantees if Marvel terminates are foregoing any fees waived blah, blah, blah. anyway it's really yeah. heavily um, geared towards Marvel getting the better end of the stick which it's their IP so yeah. I guess so but one crucial point right here if we do not sell 6 million units on the first release of the game yeah. on PC and PS5 combined, then they get to break the deal. This probably speaks as to why Xbox has never had a Marvel deal ever. Because they just can't sell games on their ecosystem. Oh, they, they, so there's there's no way they could ever make that money. Yeah, they, they've trained people not to buy the games. But it's not just, um, funnily enough, It I found out one of the reasons Mixer died. And it's very similar stuff. So one of the reasons Mixer died is that you could use there was like in game you know bits and stuff like that. Yeah. You could basically farm those. Okay. And, and get and, and do um and like channel points. You can basically farm channel points. Right, they called right. them sp- spirits or sparks or something like that. <clears throat> and so people were coming along and going to these like twenty four hour like music streams, just leaving the thing on, and by being on you would farm sparks, right? right? Okay. And so there was this all this viewership that was fake and then when advertisers came to run ads on the thing there was no click through rate because mm-hmm. all these people are are watching streams they're not actually present watching the streams right so yeah. there's no one you're advertising to even though nobody clicks on advertisers sometimes someone does right and they were getting even less than exactly. those times and the sparks had like real use on the platform so it was training people to to abuse the system right and to not be present Right, that's, that's and dumb. this is just a Microsoft thing. Same with Game Pass. You're training your people, not you're, you're training your customer base, the people that you need to support you, whose money you need by a fair exchange of a good product yeah. to make a good product, and you're training them not to give you their money. Yeah, like it's just this is a Microsoft thing over and over again. They yeah. keep making the worst mistakes when it comes to this stuff. It does make you wonder what that Blade deal is because that's a that's a Marvel mm. product. <clears throat> I bet you it's heavily, heavily, heavily. Can we just pay you a bunch of money so we can have this IP? Yeah. Nothing else. Like maybe the there's they, they probably pitched them an idea. They were like, let's do this, but it's going to be ridiculously high. You can't even meet these requirements. Yeah. And they were like, or you can just pay us a ridiculous sum and you get the IP. And I think they just needed to bite that bullet because I mean they're biting bullets all over the place. Yeah. Buying Bethesda, buying. Uh, Activision, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and all the other things like the Marvel royalties. Again, the digital game sales—they're barely selling video games. The physical—they're barely selling video games. The hardware bundle, even if it was, even if it was seventy-five percent, you're not selling enough consoles to be able to warrant them to them go. Oh, we're making yeah. money over here. Yeah. They're not going to be making anything. So, it—it's all just all of this is just reinforcing the point that like, there's a reason why Marvel haven't gone to gone to Xbox with their best IPs because they're just not going to make any money with them. No, they won't. And and it's going out to people where even if stuff was on like the back end, what I'd love to see is the... But Disney even went to my, to Ubisoft to make Star Wars before yeah. they went to the... Yeah. <laughs> fucking Ubisoft, god damn it. Like what I would love to see is a comparison like per capita, so like a thousand for a thousand of the spend for like Fortnite players. Right. On Xbox versus uh, like PlayStation versus PC. Mm. I'd be really interested to see what the difference is between those groups of people. Because um, that, I feel, is like a uh, uh, fair-ish, you know? Yeah. If Like, if it's all about the same, that would be really interesting. If one is, you know, remarkably lower. The other thing is, like, I could imagine it's a weird case where, like... Um, the Xbox spend might be higher because it's kids stealing mummy's credit card, buying a bunch of stuff, right? But they won't do it for a game because the game's going to come for free. 
Ah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. there could be some really anomalous data. That would be, be really interesting yeah. to find out. Anyway, besides the point, get fricked, Xbox. Yeah. Um, the next thing that came out of the leak, it detailed a free Spider-Man 2 DLC that's coming. Okay. Uh, which sounds awesome. Apparently it will include Carnage and you're going to want to play Spider-Man 2 now. For real. All right. Uh, a Spider-Verse tie-in. Which is, I know you love your oh, Spider-Verse. <laughs> that's me hitting the button for it, like, come, 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 come. <laughs> Just buckets. So that was really cool. And there was there was a minor Spider-Verse tie-in in the game, yeah. in, the, in the game itself, the base game. It was like a little side mission. And I was like, oh, this is so fucking yeah, yeah. cool. So the fact it's coming back. I'm Are you hearing what that. we're saying, CDPR? That it would be very easy to just have a, a, just a little nod towards Siri motherfuckers and it was done so faithfully oh. as well like the 24 frames a second or whatever it was or the 20 frames a second whatever it was we never mentioned that to Pavel we, we were talking to him um, I forgot to mention which one what uh, talk what when we were at the CDPR event yeah what did we you... forgot to mention that we wanted Siri in the game we were freaking speaking to Pavel look we mentioned it to Doug we, we did. mentioned it to him Hopefully he takes it right to the source. Hey, Pavel, I just had this crazy, <laughs> completely organic idea. Wasn't it in the news recently that he's going to voice Geralt again yeah. in the in the next games that's yeah, coming that's cool. out? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, yeah, and apparently there was a multiplayer game, a Spider-Man multiplayer game called Spider-Man: A Great Web, which has been cancelled. And um, yeah, that was uh, it. Looked terrible, I have to say. Uh, yeah, glad I it's not having it. I'm a multiplayer kind of guy. I like PvP and stuff like and whatever it is, and even PvE stuff, raiding and shit. Yeah. But I <clears> don't <throat> feel like Spider-Man's the way I would want to go. Oh, shit, you'd have to make it a Spider-Verse. Never mind, I've changed my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you could just get him in with anything Spider-Verse. And uh, there were some some minor details about Spider-Man 3, but nothing major, like no no plot or anything. I just like planning stages, etc., yeah. etc., et like that. And yeah, that was the... um. That was the Insomniac leak. Freaking huge. And yeah, that's massive. 1.6 terabytes. Yeah. There was something hilarious. I'm not going to mention them by name, but people can figure it out for themselves. There was one outlet in particular that just said something so stupid. They were like, we here at so-and-so are, at insert not, name here. Are, not, are not going to cover the Insomniac leaks as we believe it is a breach of their privacy and uh, an unethical as... as <coughs> wait, 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 wait. A games journalist that's like was unethical. Okay. And the internet immediately called them on their bullshit yeah. because I think it was literally like a week before, maybe yeah. five days even before, there was a leak at... Uh, some other place maybe it, may, it might have been Sega or something like yeah. that and then the, like the week before it was the GTA leaks yeah. full coverage on all that stuff full coverage no no detail spared Insomniac Games listen we don't we don't talk I think <laughs> it's very unfair that we talk about Insomniac Games yeah that's that's <laughs> That's ridiculous. Just isn't it? so dumb the whole internet just called them out it's like look reporting on it doesn't make it terrible doesn't make it worse you're you're reporting on it it's the yeah, it's not like it's going to go unnoticed because you didn't say anything about it. Right, right. What you could do is provide some valuable context and, and like, if this was going to and affect educate somebody, people and yeah. stuff like that on certain areas, whatever. Right. Or like, yeah, that's for... For once, I'm annoyed journalists didn't cover something. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. They're, they're the people that are like, oh, I've got a, a moral obligation in this area and then the other area that's equally as bad, yeah. they completely ignore. <laughs> it, God damn it. So, so that's so dumb. So stupid. That's so dumb. Have morals or don't. Again, it's hypocrisy that I don't like. If you are shameless, just be shameless, but then don't pretend that you're too good to cover a thing. Right? right? Or have morals and, and don't cover all the garbage and then say, look, guys, we know this has happened. Here's the story. We know this has happened. However, we're not going to discuss it for these reasons and because we don't have the full details. Yeah. Once we understand what the impact is, once we get you know something from... Uh, not only direct from their PR person, but we interview some people, speak to our sources, we'll give you a full coverage story. But don't just say, no, we're too good to cover that one. That one is a breach of privacy. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's stupid. Bullshit. <laughs> That's so dumb. All right. So instead, check out these GTA links. <laughs> also, yeah, please check out our GTA links that we covered over here. It's really, really, uh, really That's cool so, stuff. That's actually. so dumb. Okay. That was all of the leaks. Uh, 
let us know in the comment section how you felt about them. How do you feel about the existence of a, an X-Men game in the future? And um, how do you feel about Insomniac Games working on Marvel games pretty much exclusively until like 2034 or whatever? Yeah. All right. The next topic. Another big thing that happened. The Last of Us Online was cancelled in the time that we was away. Oh, no. Yeah, you see, I'm a little bit more upset about this. I mean, we've spoken about it before, but yeah. here's what Naughty Dog had to say. Uh, an update on The Last of Us Online. We realize that y you have been anticipating news around the project we've been calling The Last of Us Online. There's no easy way to say this. We have made the incredibly difficult decision to stop development on that game. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated Last of Us Factions community who have been following <laughs> the four people. <laughs> Listen, John, we know this is bad news for you. I'm really sorry, but... Oh, boy. Um, who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ard ardently? Is that a word? I don't know. Apparently, Apparently it is. Apparently it is. Um, we equally crushed at the studio. Uh, we equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting it into your hands. We wanted to share with you, uh, you some background of how we came to this decision. The multiplayer team has been in pre-production with this game since we were working on The Last of Us Part Two, crafting an experience we felt was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team iterated on the concept of The Last of Us Online during the, this time, their vision crystallized. The gameplay got more refined and satisfying and we were enthusiastic about the direction that we were heading okay <laughs> in ramping up to full production mm -hmm. the massive scope of our ambition became clear to release and support the last of us online we'd have to put all stu all our studio resources behind supporting post-launch content for years to come severely impacting development of future single player games so we had two parts in front of us become a solely live service game studio or continue to focus on single player narrative games that we that have defined naughty dog's heritage bullshit Let's talk about it in a second. We uh, have are immensely we are immensely proud of everyone at the studio that have touched this project. The learnings and investments in technology from this game will carry into our, how we develop our projects and will be invaluable in direction we're heading as a studio. Uh, we have more than one ambitious, which is cool, more than one ambitious brand new single player game that we are working on here at Naughty Dog, yeah. and we can't not can uh, and we cannot wait to share. More about what comes next when we are ready or when it's cancelled. That'd be I did myself. Yeah. <laughs> Until then, we're incredibly thank you to the community and support throughout the years. So, yeah. how do you feel about that statement? Um, well, like you said, the four people that play factions yeah. are greatly disappointed. Yeah. Tears just... Yeah. Um, There's a little puddle there. Well, weirdly enough, minor Last of Us update, I watched all but the last episode of the first season Finally, because I was on the show, on the plane. You're at the same place as me, then. I yeah. still haven't watched the last episode. <laughs> cool. It's the same. Um, and it was excellent, by the way. Yeah. Um, I just... The bit that I'm stuck on, which this sounds like complete copium to me, is it's either we become a complete live service only studio or we stick to the incredible, you know, industry leading stuff that we've been doing. Mm. So what would you pick? Oh, of course you want us to stick with this stuff. That wasn't ever the the choice. My, so finish what you're saying. Anyway, that's bullshit. Pretending like if they did factions, well, that's it. That's all we do now. We can't do anything else. We can't yeah. possibly spin up another studio. Impossible. Or, or side <clears throat> team or anything like yeah, that. Or just have, yeah, this is an ongoing project. Ridiculous. Insane. Stupid. That's bullshit. Can so, I say what my bullshit part is? Yes, please is? do. My bullshit part is, is that they're like, we were making the game. It was crystallized. It was defined. It was fun. It, it was, was showing great. a lot of potential. And it's a lot of potential. And then we made it. And then it suddenly dawned on us that we have to support the game. Oh, no. We didn't see this coming until we it got came out of left field. <laughs> Who could have ever guessed that a live service <laughs> would need live service? The game was coming out this year, apparently. Oh, just at the finish line, we realized we have to cross it. Oh, no. What have I built here? Is <laughs> So it's like they're, they're saying we make games for a living and what we did was like we painted ourselves into a corner and we couldn't leave because then we'd have to walk over our paint 
And we realized that right at the end. Right we, at the know. end. I'm like, hold on a minute. You didn't think this whole time that you'd have to make post-launch content on a game that survives post-launch. That's the way it lives. That's, that's what it's for. <laughs> that was the bit that I was like, okay. Look, if you just if you didn't say that bit, I'd have been like, <laughs> yeah. We realized we'd have to support this, and what that would mean. What well, you realized that late, like, come on, come on, come on. And also, stop, stop. it previously says, like, it basically says before that they made a fantastic game yeah. in their opinion. Yeah, they made a fantastic game. Yeah, but just because we missed this last bit, we're going to really chuck you all in the bin. And, yeah, chuck you all in the bin now. <laughs> there's, there's no way. It's there nuts. is, there is. First of all, there is literally no way that's true. It's that's impossible. It's Even so hard to believe. Even if they were in a vacuum, which, by the way, they're not, yeah. because they because Sony Santa Monica is in the family, they have they have the might of PlayStation behind them and Bungie, yeah, and that as well. That have run arguably one of the most successful live service games of all time. You know, at least at least con that was on console and yeah. stuff. You know, that it was that and Fortnite pretty much for consoles as well to get World of Warcraft and all that stuff. So like bullshit. Bullshit. Just say, actually, we just want to make The Last of Us. We 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 made it. We <laughs> thought it was pretty good, but we don't do pretty good. And what we make is outstanding. That could have been another thing. If we they make said outstanding that. action adventures in Uncharted. We make outstanding story-driven RPGs in The Last of Us, yeah. and that's what Naughty Dog does. And a pretty good game isn't justice to the last of us it's not justice to the developers it's not justice to the bands and it's not justice to you and because it's not up to standard and it ultimately it was an experiment and it's not our strong suit it's unfortunate but we're going to have to do it and I know some of you are going to say release it anyway but if one person says well the last of us isn't as good now because I've played this then that is too much for us to handle so we're not doing yeah. it. Much would I'm not the trained PR bruh yeah, I would have much preferred that. Yeah. Much preferred that. That would be, man, that's really disappointing. I get what they're saying. I wish they would have done it. Hopefully, maybe they sell the license to someone else. But... Some other internal studio can yeah, work yeah. on it or whatever. Yeah. But... Oh. Yeah, that's bullshit. I, th I think that's fair enough as well, saying something like that. Yeah. Is it, I know... I mean, to be honest, like we just said with the leaks and whatnot, gamers aren't really... Some of them, anyway, are not the most normal people. Like, they see the alpha footage and they're like, oh, this is awful gameplay. What has Insomniac become? Most, a lot of gamers, <laughs> a lot of gamers and a lot of Zack Snyder haters have oh, significant they're overlap. The same bucket <laughs> significant overlap. That Venn diagram, <laughs> you know. It's like the, uh, the reused animations thing all over again. Oh, fuck's sake. My God, you guys well, are so Kratos jumps into Kratos does a thing that he did before the same way as he did it before. <laughs> now he has to do a backflip and do it in there. What is he doing? Yo, crazy. He's going to walk on two legs or he's not handstanding the whole way in the second. Are you insane? <laughs> Insanity. <laughs> the fuck? Um, so maybe being frank with them is giving them too much of a... Yeah. Too much of benefit of the doubt of like being human, being decent people. Yeah. But anyway, it's gone. I am a little bit upset because I thought they had the potential to make something a little bit different, a little bit more impactful when it yeah. comes to the multiplayer scene. Cool. However, the vast majority of people are not in the camp with me here. They're like, look, I just want them to go back to The Last of Us. That was much better. I want them to make an Uncharted game. I want them to do so. And it does say here that they're working on two new projects two new single player projects so the last of us three is uh part three is one of them yeah the other one how do you feel yeah. about the last of us three we in fairness we both felt that they shouldn't have done the last of us two there was too high a chance of messing up and we were wrong exactly and i i by the way for, face. it's a i'm in a really sweet weird spot because i call a bunch of stuff like I've called whole movies from the advert before. I called uh, most of what happened in an anime recently. I called the Wolverine stuff. And then I say dumb things like, Ben Affleck would be a bad Batman. Uh, oh, Heath Ledger would be a bad Joker. Oh boy. You know, I say stuff like that. You're lucky we <clears throat> didn't say this shit on video because right, that right. would be haunting you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I get it. I've got it wrong. I said uh, uh, Batinson wouldn't be any good at all. He was brilliant. Mm -hmm. You know, like I've been wrong on a bunch of this stuff. But now, especially with Joel gone, I just, I don't see the point of A Last of Us 3. You know? 
there's there's no connection there that's the issue with me as well and Abby and Lev are the cool but like um, they're not that cool they're DLC worthy well here's the thing like spoilers for the last was part two we were upset yeah when Joel died right at the beginning traumatised traumatised is probably the uh, more apt description <laughs> of what, what we were feeling we were traumatised yeah but then when we saw how they were doing it with all these flashbacks and these memories I was like Oh my I god, my heart's cried. breaking, but that is that was great what you did. I got Fantastic. choked up at yeah. that first uh flashback in the museum. So so I was like, okay, I see what they're doing. And I had to stop your stream because I was like, I don't want to get spoiled. I want to see this for myself. Yeah. But you can't do that again. Especially no. with how they finished it at the end. They were like they gave it that nice Very... round closure. It wasn't really a a, a disagreement. It was like yeah. a look, we, we have our arguments time time, but we love each other. So it's cool. We'll see you later. But yeah. Like it's, you know, they've done it. They've finished it. That's it. So they can't come back to that. What are they going to do? Now, if it, I don't think they would do this. And I also don't want this because I specifically like Joel and Ellie. Yeah. A Joel, not prequel, but like in the diff, in the difference. Yeah. That could be good. But again, I feel like that's a DLC, not a standalone game. I don't want to play Joel on it, you know, not on his own, but like in the gap between, you know, it, everything goes down and, and Ellie. Also, it would be a bit strange as well because like... You'd have to be a villain at some point. You have yeah. to be. That's, the point of Joel, the point of Joel is he is not a good guy, yeah. he, but he's on Ellie's team. Yeah. That's his purpose, right? And you have to argue whether or not Ellie is good in the end of this as well, and then in part two as well, because she does a lot of a lot of selfish stuff. I mean, she pays the price for it yeah, multiple yeah, ways. Yeah. But anyway, we're talking Last of Us here. No? Yeah, sorry, yeah. Um also the the remaster comes out in like seven days or something like that. If seven days. days. Yeah. yeah. Seven days. I don't I might I still haven't got the platinum for that. But that's because I couldn't bring myself to play it again. It's uh, in the best way possible. The Last of Us Two is quite taxing. Yes, it's very emotionally draining, even when you know stuff's coming. <clears throat> you know, and they do it right because, like, the villains in the game or the the main character villain cast villains, you know, like Abby and and her group, yeah, um, are just the same as Ellie and her group. It just depends which group you're a part of as to who's the bad guy. Because Joel, by the way, Joel is the bad guy. <laughs> Of the entire series, he's the villain. Joel is the villain. This is what what post apocalyptic world is like. There's no yeah. good guys and bad guys. No, it's people oh, doing no, no, the worst true. stuff. Joel's definitely the bad okay, guy. Okay, right, yeah, okay. Joel There's is bad definitely guys the and bad worst guy. guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, like the murdering doctors stuff. I can forgive him for. No, it's it, it's totally it's that. what happens because he murders the doctors. He burnt the entire planet. Yeah, he's yeah, definitely yeah. The, the bad guy. <clears throat> I support the decision. Support him hundred percent. But he's the baddie. You know, <laughs> like that's the main character of the first game, mm. right? And the main driving force of the second game. Yeah. And we love him. What are you going to do for the third game? What are you going to do? No clue. I'm fairly good at this stuff, and, and I can't pick an idea for this. They've got to think it up as well really quickly because, I mean, they just announced the <clears throat> the casting decisions for Dina, Abby, yeah. Jesse for the season two of the show. They're going to want yeah. season three to be like, oh, where's the script, uh, Neil Druckmann? Yeah. Which, by um, the way, why does everyone hate Neil Druckmann all of a sudden? I don't know. I know there was, like, people hated, there were hate people for, for this part two. Yeah. But people still hate the guy. Like the recent, he went to the Golden Globes with like yeah. everyone. Nick Offerman apparently won a Golden Globe for his okay. performance in oh, yeah. in the Last of Us. By one. the way, that episode, the the gay episode, <sighs> actually, first of all, yeah. the best apocalypse romance episode of any show ever. Absolutely that. outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, probably the thing in most recent years that's made me choke. I don't really cry at stuff. But that got me choked up. Yeah. That was a really fantastic episode. The only caveat I have is it was in the wrong show. Yes. That's what I said. That's literally what I said. There. Yeah. I was like, this is one of the best episodes of TV I've seen. Ever, ever. It, th that was fantastic. Nick, Great. Nick Offerman and whoever played uh, the, the yeah. other guy, I don't know his name. That Jeff was Fries, outstanding. Yeah. So good. I'm like, so good. However, it's not The Last of Us. Yeah. And, and, 
Other than the couple of times that the, 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 the defensive Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they mentioned Joe or the defenses get set off. Yeah. It's completely isolated. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I do have one beef. I do have one actual beef with it because although it wasn't relevant, it was gorgeous. It was incredible yeah. to watch. It was beautiful. He did owe Joel a favor. Yeah. It would have been nice to know or to at least put in there that there was a do you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's the whole reason the whole reason the, the first game happens is because yeah. that favor is owed. Also it happens slightly differently, like it does. And that, that that was one thing that bothered me, but I mean, you're gonna argue you got a good, good piece of creation TV show. Also, it was so good. It was yeah. beautiful. That was a fantastic that I that I it's weird because I watched it so recently and people hate not hate it but it caused all this stir and I was like man that was fantastic mm. it just is a bit out of place mm. but what an incredible episode I was really shocked that that had caused so much uh, beef mm. uh, so much controversy because it was brilliant it was brilliant it's unfortunately the internet is not short of idiots it's just yeah. the way it is you know in fact yeah. life is not short of idiots it's just yeah, the way it is. It's dumb. um speaking of tv shows yeah. we can actually talk about our next topic yeah. over here um writing is begin has begun writing is begin writing is begin eyes nose english uh maybe this discord board doesn't have to be so good <laughs> it doesn't need to be <laughs> i won't be able to read any of it anyway uh it's writing put it has in, like pictures for you it's gonna be a comic strip of, strip of what happens in the <laughs> Go on. Show me pictures. That's all I need to see. Uh, writing is underway, I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> for the series God of War and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, okay. uh, um, Amazon and Netflix, respectively. Yeah. Uh, and it's getting exciting. We haven't had any word yet of any sort of casting. I can't... The day that it happens, it's just going to be... This is what's unfortunate now about how m video games have become so good in yeah. terms of acting and yeah. hiring yeah. real class actors yep. that now you can't hire anyone else because it's just going to seem so out of place because no two people are the same, especially in the acting community. You're not going to be able to find a Christopher Judge that does Kratos the way that he did. I'm going to... This is not a controversial opinion by any means. I think he should still do it. I think he should be God of War. I think not God of War, Kratos. You know, he, it should be Christopher Judge. First of all, I don't. He's going to be covered in ashes almost for all of it. Second of all, I've already. Uh, we can get a black spot on. That's not a problem. That's very easily achieved. Even though you never see it. Okay. Yeah. You'll, first of all, maybe we just never address it and he, we just meet him covered in ashes. I was going to say, you just never need to. You just go straight yeah, into it. We just meet him covered in ashes. If you ever need to show the murder scene, yeah. like you show it in shadows, you don't show him killing kids, his own kid and wife, right? You show the shadows, you show them getting Can we burnt. see the blood? Yeah. Shadows, blood splatter. Cool. And then you see like Athena or whoever it is, uh, no, Ares come, like the bodies yeah. burn and like he get the body gets covered. You just watch Ash come yeah. up on the right, done. And he's going to be doing God shit. Uh, there's going to be a lot of CG. So Christopher Judge himself does not have to be the most athletic thing because we know he's had like double hip. It was a double hip operation, wasn't yeah. it? That, so like... By the way, still in incredible shape. Yeah. So we, we it's going to be okay. I think it would be fine. No. I mean, if they could if they could somehow make it work, that would be great. Anyway. Who are you going to pick? <clears throat> Who are you going to cast? Oh, Pause. And also, gonna... genuinely, forget... Um, like comment engagement stuff like i genuinely want to know who would you cast for this stuff who would i cast for the god of war tv show it literally can't be it has to be someone like dave batista or something like that right he's the only one that's going to be kind Can of he close do kratos to i don't know i mean he's he's, he's actually surprisingly good yeah, yeah he's, he's surprisingly, surprisingly good actor surprisingly um i think he's the only one that's going to be able to come close that or jason momoa but I feel like Jason Moa's starting to drop off a little bit. I feel you. However, this might be the role that gets him back into it, you know? Yeah, Who yeah, knows? Yeah. Frick all the people that are saying The Rock. Don't say no, it that's next wrong, to me. That's the wrong guy. Don't say that to Maybe me. Maybe the guy that plays Reacher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could do Aquaman, it. yeah, 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 yeah. He could do it. And then we get a white actor. <laughs> I love the pronunciation of <laughs> the H. triple H's. Oh, we can get a triple H. <laughs> oh, 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 here we go. How old is he now? <laughs> no idea, mate. He's actually a really good, uh, really good guy. I mean, he seems like a good guy anyway. I'm triple H, if you watch, 
I know you're watching. Get, you hit us up on Discord. Hit us up. Make okay. sure you hit all the permissions. You have to hit all or you'll lose <laughs> rooms. <laughs> He's like, I, look, I tried to join your Discord server. It's just too I complicated. Didn't, didn't there were four it. buttons <laughs> to click. It's too much. I'm Triple H, not Quadruple H. It was like, Ed? What's Ed? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Sheps is shit. I don't know what this is. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. i tell you what will... I feel like Atreus is easily attainable. There's probably you can find like a child act somewhere, I, uh, or I even so, uh, Sunny could even do it because he's like in that yeah, right he's range. in the right sort of range. However, I, Freya would be the tough one. I was gonna say Freya's an, uh, an odd one because I think you could get away with not having Daniela, mm. although, although like, and I'm talking sort of physically not having her on the show. Yeah. Who's going to actually do the acting, though? Like, if we had bodies and, and voice actors, you keep the cast, yeah. right? Like, it was another game. But you don't. But I also don't know who I'm going to pick in, instead of her. This is just, this is this is the same feelings. Look, the Last of Us managed to do it well. Yeah. <clears throat> they managed to do it well enough that it didn't anger enough people. I think that is an anomaly, though. I think this is just not oh. going to work out. We're just going to get it and we're all just going to be angry that no, it wasn't delivered in the same way as it was in the game. Or something about. People were angry about The Last of Us and I got to say, they're idiots. I didn't see uh, Pedro Pascal and I forget her name that played Ellie as uh, like... Bella Ramsey. Bella Ramsey. I didn't see her. People go, Bella Ramsey, like first of all, they're saying she's ugly. Like, f f what are you talking about? Are you... Do you, you, you why are you... First of all, you're I focusing on the wrong stuff. Secondly, you're an idiot. Third of all, what are you talking about? And then <laughs> one of the beefs was they were like, well, she swears too much. First of all, it's not Bella Ramsey, you moron. It's the script writers. Yeah. Second of all, it's Ellie. And she was so good. I saw Ellie the whole way through and forgot that Ellie doesn't look like that or that she yeah. doesn't look like, like I saw Ellie the whole way through. It was fantastic. I saw Joel the whole way through. It was incredible. Which is one of those things of like, it's not what the actor looks like. It's how the actor behaves that yeah. makes you feel and see the thing. That's a great southern accent. The whole like Joel accent that he yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. It's spawn. spawn. It's spawn. So, <clears throat> but like, who are you going to pick? Yeah, this these are far more difficult than than the Last of Us one. Even though yeah, I was I probably I equally as, equally scared, I was equally scared. But this was um, this is gonna be quite difficult. Weirdly, I wasn't. I thought of, of any of the games, The Last of Us and maybe Uncharted are probably the easiest ones to do because we we we've already done zombie shows. You know, we've done the, the like um, the Walking Dead proves zombie shows work. Plus, the games are incredible. Yeah. You just have to get some good cast. But like, it's gonna be okay. Uncharted is just a. Uh, a serialized a TV show version of Indiana Jones so it's going to be okay but like God of War and uh, God, of, God of War is the one I'm most scared for I think uh, Horizon's going to be okay you know you need a, a red somebody uh, give them red hair and there is a lot less <clears throat> characters L luckily there's no no need for character development uh, in acting because <laughs> it's Aloy Get fucked. At least it's come up. There you go. It's a hidden hidden bonus. There you go. <laughs> and you can't say I'm wrong. You all know it's true. You no, all know anything. You all know that you you're not worried about about Horizon Zero Dawn or whatever it is called having terrible casting. You know? It just has to be good enough. Yeah. No one's like, there's no way. Who's an actress? Pick an actress, Brav. Karen Daisy Gilligan. Ridley could be Aloy. She's not redheaded. Shit, Karen Gilligan could be the Oh shit. She could be it. How old is she now? She I might be a bit old. I don't think so. I think but she's. I think, I think she's. Fine. Isn't she in her forties? I don't know how to spell her first name. Gil Gillan, Gillan, Gillian. She's so peng. Hold on, boys. One sec. Hey, she, she's thirty-six. I say you put in, give her the make. She still looks young anyway, because Ayla's supposed <clears> to be in her twenties, <throat> isn't she? So yeah, like nineteen to twenty. Three, something like that. I think she could do it. And that's the thing. The, the, yeah, there is sure. only really one character when it comes to The Last of Us. Pretty much. So, not Last of Us, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. It's just her. Whereas with God of War, <laughs> you have these focal characters. Freya, Kratos, yeah. Yeah, Atreus. Yeah, uh, all yeah these everybody ones. else is side characters. Like, Bold. Val is in it for, like, three missions, you know? Uh, it's, yeah. his, they're not, they don't take up this huge space in the game. You know, mm -hmm. like when I think through the story of The Last of Us, they're not intrinsic to it. Obviously, they are for the game to happen, but I really think of Aloy and what Aloy is doing, not that. And also, if we're rewriting some stuff in the shows, like I felt the uh, 
the rewrites in The Last of Us for the way the stuff worked, the uh, fungus worked, weren't needed. Mm. But whatever, like I get you want to make your own thing. Let's rewrite some <clears throat> stuff for for Horizon. Let's make it good. Yeah, like like <laughs> oh, first, no, I'm yeah, we'll, that. we'll make some char- Aloy, the main <clears throat> character, will have character and, and personality. <laughs> uh, and two, uh, when we do the the second game, we'll make the big bad, you know, in scope. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I um, yeah, that was uh, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be nerve wracking, and I can't wait for the day that it comes out. Yeah, and rocks the internet. Uh, our next topic. Since we last spoke, yeah. God of War Ragnarok Valhalla was what it was announced before, yep. and it released, and turned out to be one of the best DLCs ever made. I still haven't played it. Oh, um, may I? You know what I've. Well, also, because you took away our game sharing, I could buy it. <laughs> and it seems good enough to buy. I may, I may buy it. Uh, it's actually free. What? Yeah. It's a free DLC. Icky Island wasn't free. Exactly. And people complained about it. <laughs> free moment. People would have complained about this, but you know. Anyway. It, um, this I actually think that's a mistake. If it's as good series. as you say, they should have charged $15 for it. There's this no is a series of events for what happened, right? Okay. Uh, the rumors came out. It was going to be announced at the Game Awards. I announced it. I was like... Man, I hope the DLC is X, Y, and Z, X, Y, and Z. Made yeah. a video, everyone was like agreed, said their own parts and stuff like that. Good, good conversation. Then the the announcement comes out, and it seems to be ro- a roguelite sort of uh, combat okay. ad- edition. And I was like, hey, it looks great. I like the God of War combat, but man, I was looking for something more story focused. Yeah. And I post that video, but like two days before the DLC comes out. Did, <clears throat> and then the can I predict your comments two <laughs> days after the <laughs> DLC comes out? You need it. This age like milk. Bro, this age like milk. Oh. I, I, and then the game comes out and it's the best story DLC add on to anything you've ever played. Yeah, it sick. answers a bunch of questions and it leaves a nice emotional note at the end. Sick. It caps off the story where it seemed like it ended in a in a weird place. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely incredible. If you haven't played it already, get to it. And there's all kinds of great things as well. Like, I don't know if you caught on the um, hint at the love between Mimir and Sigrun in the main Oh, yeah, game. for sure. In the DLC, they explore it way more. The hint, she takes his head to bed. Wait. Okay. Yeah. That sounds very weird. Yeah. Well, she but, only yeah. needs the heads. So that's yeah, that's yeah. all that. She's a muscle woman. She's going to try and watermelon. Them, you know? <laughs> anyway. And the love that happens there. In the, oh, oh. oh, this is great. I'm glad to hear that. Fucking fantastic. Um, and more and more stuff that happens there. I fucking loved it. It was a, a great addition. And to think it was all free, I feel like we we ripped off Sony Santa Monica. It should have cost 10 bucks, 20 bucks. Easily would have paid for it. We actually got a lot of that in. I'm going to say it's in the same year. <clears throat> I mean, like the same like 12-month period, mm. easily. Like... Baldur's Gate is a is a ripoff. We ripped off Larian because they sold it for fifty. Yeah. It's not even a full priced game. Yeah, and it is without a doubt. Have you played much of it? I played was that twenty hours or whatever. Yeah. So you need like, to get back to it. I have uh, thirty three hours on the game. Mm-hmm. I'm not even halfway through Act One, oh, and there's Act Three. I've heard it's nuts. Yeah, yeah. Play uh, more. yeah. This is going to be easily one to two hundred hours, probably two hundred hours per playthrough, and I need to do at least a couple yeah. minimum. Um. That game is not only just incredible in terms of length, and, and also it's the exact... You know when I said game length, I, was, I would rather have a, a game that was like 20 hours that you could play 100 different ways. Yeah. Well, this is a game that's 200 hours that you can play 100 different ways. It's exactly what we wanted. Like, everything's gorgeous. Everything's done incredibly well. And the story, like, this is The Witcher 3 all over again. It set the bar so high, it literally changed the game again. Yeah. That <clears throat> next year people are going to be like, just like Baldur's Gate 3. I guarantee it. Maybe not the turn-based stuff. I know that's like hit and miss for some people. But dude, that th- this thing is incredible. The fact that we got that for any less than genuinely, I think, a fair price for it's like 150. Is I don't that want much people content to ha- for standard. Yeah, I don't want people to have to pay that. But the reality is, if you get 200 hours of entertainment from one playthrough and you know that there's like 50 different ways to play every decision, like, yeah, that that the game's worth so much. Yeah. They got Larian got ripped off. <coughs> They did. 
Larry and Ripton so <clears throat> you played yourselves <laughs> that is a fantastic game well at least they're gonna they're gonna go down in history as a, well they won the game award they've got that which yeah. is a prestigious award they re- go down in history as like one of the best uh, video game makers essentially what CDPR was before the Cyberpunk yeah, yeah, yeah. issue a, came out very similar <clears throat> yeah like they put them on the map yeah. best game ever made sort of stuff it's invaluable that kind of stuff yeah. so there you go now um, I watch them CDPR it <laughs> It's it's almost like, almost a pattern. Everyone has to do the same thing. And the final topic: Xbox are permanently banning okay. some accounts for posting nudity from well, recording from their gameplay nudity from Baldur's Gate Three. However, they're not doing it themselves. It's an automatic feature that their Xbox does. So here's what happens. Yeah. <clears throat> Xbox, uh, in their, one of their updates not too long ago, caused everyone's uh, everyone's uh, consoles to auto-record and back up like clips that happen in certain situations, yeah. whatever the situation might be, in video games, and they might want to like might want to keep those and post later yeah. or something like that. I find random clips on my PlayStation all the time where I've accidentally hit the button. Or, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. And sometimes it's like when you get an achievement or yeah. something like that, yeah, you yeah. post like 15 seconds, whatever it might be, something like that. And it, and when it's on your console, it's not too bad. Sometimes yeah. you press the thing, it's fine. But they've also got a feature, much like the PlayStation has, where yeah. it uploads it to their like cloud, their cloud server stuff, and you yeah. can download it and stuff like that. It is an automatic feature that is built in, set on, set on by default, so you don't really know that it's yeah. on until it just happens. And people are getting banned for having nudity from within Baldur's Gate 3 be posted onto their cloud service so, and then banning their, their Xbox Live username. And uh, I saw a funny tweet going on. It was like, Xbox, we're going to do everything in our power to port the game because it, yeah. it wasn't originally on there. Xbox, we will automatically enable clips to be captured. Xbox, lol, shooting someone in the eye is perfectly okay. All that gory stuff is perfectly okay. Also, Xbox, no, we're going to ban you for using a feature we enabled by default. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a hilarious turn of events. Can they ever hit? These guys always miss. All they do is miss. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty hilarious. But hey, luckily now they have uh, freaking Activision Blizzard. Good, Not good exactly. for, good for gamers, right? Good for gaming everywhere. Yeah, en- <laughs> enjoy all your wins there, Xbox. Apparently, there's actually um, an Xbox Direct or something like that, developer Direct, where they're going to be talking about the um, new Indiana Jones movie. Okay. Uh, 18th of January. Okay, cool. So we've still so got some time. A week um, or so. It'll be interesting to see what that's all about. There will be interesting to see. I, just to quickly sort of wrap up on this, Xbox the can't afford this. For one, probably some people actually may have lawsuit cases here if they're not reinstated. Mm-hmm. And for two, you're losing any goodwill that you had with these people where you don't you don't serve their needs. You give them cheap access to shit games. That's all you do. Like... The, yeah. So you you need to they need to sort that out. That needs to be an immediate like unfucking. <laughs> There's no way to do it any other way. I love and they they put out a um they put out a, a tweet as well and it's the way they speak as if like they were like we didn't do anything yeah, wrong. We didn't do. However, anything. if you do want to contact our team, you can um you can message them and they'll they'll listen to you and see what you have to say. Yeah. It's like no, it should be like look, we apologize for this. Clearly it wasn't intended in that way. Yeah. It's an automatic feature so we'll have to obviously look into this and turn it off. Yeah. Um, by the way, if you want to turn it off, here's how you do it and so yeah. like that. Just own up to it. It's it's customer service. <laughs> they they are in every way the worst version of corporate you can imagine. Yeah. And at least again, this is one of our beefs. Like it's not that we love Sony. It's not that Sony isn't just as evil corp as microsoft it's that they hide it behind good service mm. and when they mess up we always call them out it. they mess up all the time but also they fix their problems and they either do it quietly quickly or properly say like this has been addressed microsoft's one is just like hey we fucked this up for you but it wasn't our fault it really is your fault you should it's why are you playing fault. the game why are you even playing the game on an xbox that's weird Literally, that's what I say. It's like, just checking, this is from a game you allow to be bought and played on your console, correct? And you're suspending accounts for having an auto-uploaded content from a setting that is turned on by default. Better yet, you're suspending anyone at, uh, anyone at all for content in such game. 
And then the response is just like, hello there, could you please follow our official Xbox support page? <laughs> It's just, I it completely ignored any of the questions and yeah. the, the thing like that. It's like, don't admit anything, make count accusations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Deny everything, admit nothing, make count accusations, 100%. <laughs> Actually, why are you recording porn on an Xbox, you weirdo? Oh, you might yeah. as well have said that, innit? Exactly. Ridiculous. I love it. I love By it. the way, we will unban you, though, if you contact us. Yeah. All right, that is all the gaming news, I believe. All the biggest gaming news, obviously, caught up on. There was also the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League NDA was lifted, so people can freely talk about that. Uh, I will say I did play the, the closed beta. It was... Um, I think the story... It's probably going to be quite nice. Okay. I think it's be, there might be bits in it later on that just don't hit. I don't sure. know about all of it because I only played some of it. However... <sighs> The shooting and traversal stuff is just like, maybe it's just me because I'm older. It just feels like Fortnite to me. Yeah. There's there's some interesting stuff to it. I, I'm just like, this is way too overstimulating and yeah. it's clearly meant to hit the, the child who, who needs to watch TV and, the, and do everything at the, the same time. Babies. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's clearly meant for those types of people. I will say, <clears throat> I think perfect pinch of salt is that you don't like Suicide Squad as a concept and you just said I think the story's going to be good yeah it, so it I like think money. that's probably a fair you know it's funny I was t was talking about Suicide Squad the movies in the yeah. group one of the group chats and after every single comment that I made I was like by the way that being said fucking hate Suicide Squad yeah <laughs> I hate the concept it's by stupid way, just, it's just dumb it's dumb. Like it. it's just dumb it's <laughs> cut rate Justice League it's <laughs> Injustice League it's in crap just <laughs> it's um this is let me ask you a question. Though. Sure. Is this one of those cases of, and I don't know if you if you felt that you said it. I just can't don't get the vibe completely. Elden Ring, Sifu, hated them. They, mm. I think they're really good games. I hated the experience, but I think they're great. Is it a case of that, or is it a case of uh, it's just not really very good? The latter. Okay. It's not. It's not going to be. Um... It's only going to be good to the people who like the overstimulating a thousand yeah, things yeah. at the time. The the HUD is just far too complicated. There's far too much going on over there. Like I said, the story might yeah. be cool, and okay. it's only cool because I'm a DC fan, and I'm yeah. like that. That's interesting to me. And the the dynamics of like when heroes get taken over or yeah, yeah, forced yeah. to do bad things or whatever that you know the the dichotomy with that. I. The, the the shooting part of it, the gameplay part of it is the least interesting part. Yeah. Okay. I was shooting enemies and I was like, I don't get any satisfaction from any of this. Mm. That sounds like it's exactly not what it should be. Exactly. There was only one interesting thing is the way that you get uh, <clears throat> ammo versus shield was similar to the way you do it in Doom. Okay. With different weapons, yeah, different yeah, yeah. spots and stuff like that. You can do that. And I was like, it's kind of interesting, but I was like, yeah, it's... I yeah okay cool that, that's good to know which is, is that's good to know yeah. that's good to know cool good to know good to know people are taking some out of context clips though there was apparently a, a leak uh -huh. uh, and it's like out of context still okay of the dot of like just rid and i'm like you don't know what's going to happen in this thing you don't know what led up to it you don't know what's going to happen moments afterwards yeah you know what they're saying just chill out, chill out. Right. Okay. There's no, there's no way you can possibly judge anything with this. Yeah. Again, internet being internet. Yeah, the internet will internet it will if internet. given half a chance. All right, bro. That's all the time we have for the True Gamer podcast. Right. Uh, thank you all for joining us for yet another Game. episode. Thank you, all you legends, uh, for joining us in 2024. Yeah, buddy. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next episode. We will. Right? Safe, bro. Oh, got further to reach this oh, time. That's oh. very far. Oh, there we go. Sound effects. Sound effects. Pa, 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 pa. I still think you should edit in like a crappy JPEG where it's like not even it's not it's not a PNG, it's a JPEG of an explosion. <laughs> it covers the full up. square <laughs> in the hand, and then it's just like that's how it ends, you know? <laughs> We're like, wow, those visual effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, was that was that Weta DreamWorks that did that? Who did, who did that? <laughs> they, they did a great job. 